people of God, Lent is a season of repentance, a time for confronting the ways our lives, our world, fall short of God's intention for humankind. We confess our sin and the sins of the world to take the first step in creating a world more just, more compassionate, more reflective of the way of Christ. We are not yet what we shall be, but we are growing toward it through the work of the Spirit. Repentance is not the end, but it is the road we travel together. God is with us as we journey towards a future where the glory of Jesus has purified all of creation. May God's love for you sustain you in the work of building heaven on earth. God of grace and restoration. By your Son's righteousness, you have redeemed the world. Help us to feel the experience of your grace. Grant us the peaceful reassurance of a future of wellness, wholeness, and community with you. Strengthen us for the work of bearing forth your love into this world. Use our words and our actions to bring new life and hope into the lives of others. You are always with us, even in our times of waiting. Thank you for your steadfast love. Amen. reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, the ninth chapter. And Jesus said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Gospel of our Lord. In this season of Lent, as we focus on this work of repentance that Jesus calls us to, if we were to focus only on our own individual need for repentance, we would still have daily opportunities for us to grow more fully into the people that God intends us to be. But the way of Christ draws us into God's story of redeeming all of the world. Jesus continues to challenge us to set a table that is more expansive, more inclusive, more graciously welcoming of all of God's children to experience the kingdom of God here on earth. Therefore, 
our work of repentance calls us to look beyond our own actions or inactions to the world around us, to the communities and systems that we participate in. When there are folks without enough to eat, Jesus is calling. When there are people without a safe place to live, Jesus is calling. When there are folks who face violence, oppression, or persecution because of the color of their skin, because of their sex or their gender, or because of their sexuality, Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling us as the body of Christ here on earth to respond to the ways that our communities fall short in this ministry of caring for vulnerable people. The work of repentance, of transforming our lives and our world to reflect the kingdom of God, it may start with our most immediate actions or inactions. But just as it draws us beyond our most obvious aspect of our own lives to those that are more subtle, more easily hidden, so too does this work draw us into the broader scope of transforming the political, economic, and cultural structures and practices that we share in. Jesus tells his disciples that following him means daily picking up their cross. Even before Good Friday, Jesus' ministry was explicitly tied to the symbol of the cross, this sign of the power and authority of the Roman Empire. Crucifixion was a punishment for those who defied the emperor, who rebelled against Rome's demands and expectations. Yet Jesus' commitment to the way of neighbor love and solidarity with those who are vulnerable or marginalized or oppressed under Rome was too disruptive to the empire's status quo and ultimately brings about Jesus' own death on the cross. Yet we know how this story resolves. We know that goodness and love and new life will get the final say. So although there may be times even today where the powers and systems of the empire that oppose God feel too entrenched to overcome, we know and we follow the one who overcame even the powers of sin and death. We take up this work of repentance not out of fear or guilt or shame but spurred onward by the power of love and compassion, spurred on by Christ's righteousness and grace, knowing that in our pursuit of justice and transformation, the Holy Spirit continues to be at work in, around, and through us, working to reveal more fully the kingdom of God in our midst. Jesus is calling us, to this holy work of repentance. May we trust the promise of God's love enough to follow. Amen.
God of our days. In this journey of Lent, you invite us to the practices of reflection and repentance, of slowing down, being still, centering ourselves in your ways of caring for others. Forgive us for the ways we have failed to reveal your love for all people, for times we have responded to others out of fear or anger, or failed to respond for lack of caring. Your amazing love is for all of creation. Thank you for how you love us without fail, for the freedom and new life you share with us, for always working in the world to bring about justice and peace. You are with us always, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Be at work in us and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas great. Precious dear.